So, you're gonna have to ignore the sound of seagulls. I am currently sat inside a van outside my garage, ready to do a garage clear out. This isn't going to be a glamorous video, and this isn't going to suddenly transform my messy garage into the most luxurious of places. That isn't gonna happen. That isn't the kind of video this is. There will be a before and after, and it will be nicer. It will be better, it will be more organized, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be reality. You know? Yeah, there's still some things in the garage that I'm gonna want to keep and I've bought a million boxes to put them all inside and to hope that that is going to keep it all organised. I've got some shelves coming from a company called Rhino Racking and that is going to really help as well. Um, I say they're coming, they're literally in my porch right now and I need to put them together over the next couple of days. So hopefully it will look better. I just want to be real and say, do you know what, this isn't going to be... <sighs> this is going to be a messy video. I have socks over my trousers so that they are spider proof <laughs> um i look like this so this is the kind of video it's gonna be i think it's just one of those places that i keep throwing stuff in so i think oh yeah i'm gonna keep it organized now i won't i'll no longer put junk in there well that is the place to put junk isn't it so if i'm decorating inside my house and i've got some things that i just want to get rid of and i'm quite ready to take them to the tip or just go oh i'll just store i'll just store it in the garage for now then i have this weight of my garage on my shoulders just that i'm thinking about all the time thinking that garage is such a tip what am i gonna do and i just don't even want to go in there i'm fed up of that weighing on my shoulders and i really just want to make it an easy place to go into and look for things my diy stuff um i'd love to make a little area where i can paint furniture and things because I don't have that at the moment and I just end up messing in, up inside the house. <laughs> That's the challenge for today. I hired this van. I've got two trip runs that I can do in the van. So I'm going to make a start to see how far I get with things. It's not as bad as it used to be, to be fair. <laughs> it's garage clear out number one. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> Never felt tomorrow closing in this fast. Oh, I guess time's in a rush. Leaves are falling down, but at least they grow back. While I'm on a one way track. Now I <laughs> like where do I begin? Obviously I've got some things already organised in boxes, things that I need to sell and stuff. So that's where the shelving units are going to be handy to put boxes on and have things a bit more organised. There are a few bits that can definitely just go to the tip in amongst here. Definitely. Oh for God's sake, I just don't know where to start. There's an old chest of drawers up there that needs to be dis dismolid? dismolished. That's a um, word that combines demolished and dismantled together. Um, it's just, I come up with new words occasionally, so just thank me for that one. So I might just tackle that. I don't know. Where do you start? I'm making slow progress. I've made progress. It's good. Things are being done. Can you tell I'm just not in the mood today anyway? I didn't really sleep well last night. I was like so excited for this for ages booked the van and everything and thought right I've got the time off work gonna get this done and now I can't be bothered <laughs> but it's fine I'll thank myself tomorrow maybe this is gonna take a couple of days by the way this isn't even just gonna be a vlog of one day I don't think it's gonna be a few days or maybe I'll split it up into a couple depends how much footage I get <laughs> I keep stopping the camera because I'm recording and I'm just literally standing here going what do I do with this what do I do with this 
and it just it's rubbish footage so I keep thinking right start filming when you when you're actually gonna do something Kat <laughs> Sometimes I understand I'm making all the wrong demands in life. It never pays in the end. But still I am here, moving on like before. done until Jim comes to help. This is the best I can do. Hi Jim! Hello! How are you feeling? Anyway, so what are you up to in here? Um, you've organised this terrible... <laughs> so reorganizing. You're reorganising the, the van. I wanted the garage reorganised and not the van. Well, <laughs> this is where we are. Good luck. <laughs> My first task now is to bin bag all these paint tubs because I'm scared of them leaking all over the um, van because they're not all empty. So. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my arms give out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. garage sort out. So yesterday was the hardest, getting rid of all the junk. We did two tick ones, we did some that was garden waste and others were just things that I really, just junk from here really, just things that old furniture that I didn't need. So there's a few more things to kind of sort through. If there is anything that kind of needs to go to the tip, it's not going to be bulky stuff, so it's going to be little bits that I can always just take in my car. I just need to start bringing some new boxes in and to kind of store things in places that, um, store things inside boxes that I, I don't know, just want to keep spiders away from. <laughs> just everything, everything inside boxes, please. That'll be protected and just organized so I know what's in each box. There are a lot of boxes in here that I kind of just need to keep for now. Things that I might sell, things that, not things are worth much, but um, things that I might sell to people who might be able to make the most out of them. And then there's some just like personal stuff, like photographs and things that, just family stuff that, I need to keep as well so you will see a lot of boxes and you're probably thinking why does she have so many boxes but there are things that I do want to keep so this is the place to keep them I'm sure everyone understands what it's like then I'll just have things that I want to get to like my tools and stuff so I want them to kind of be set up so I can just access them really really quickly and I know where things are that may not be today that I start sorting through all the tools but I just at least want to sort out this mess that I cannot be doing with so that will need to be put into boxes and then I want to build the shelving unit from Rhino Racking and they've given me three units that door's gonna slam storage units oh that's fine being shut actually probably should have done this whole 
section with the door shut because of the wind. They are going to go along one side of the garage and then hopefully the boxes can be stored on top of them. There may be a few boxes that I'll just kind of stuff in the corner that are kind of boxes that I don't mind putting one on top of the other things that I don't need to access like all the time because there are some really heavy boxes as well but apparently these do should be able to withstand heaviness so yeah I'm gonna link them into the description anyway so have a little look have a little browse if you think these would help your garage out I'm using them for my garage but I've also used them in my porch for shoe storage because I just think they're really useful they come in various sizes they come in various widths various heights various lengths to work with whatever space you want to put them in basically. I have ordered three of the huge ones because I've got quite a big space and I have a lot of boxes to store on top of them and things to store on top of them. So that's why I did that. Oh, anyway, let's get cracking. Um, Jim should join me at some point, I think, to help me with some of the heavy lifting. And um, yeah, let's just get started. Let me just look at a pile of junk. And, yeah, where do I even go with this? What am I doing with this stuff? I have absolutely no idea. Let's see what happens. I just wanna hold you. I just wanna look into your eyes and tell you that I want you. You know you make me feel so alive. Can't stop thinking about you day and night. Love it when you kiss me, love it when we touch. Every time I'm down here, yeah, you make me smile. You're the solution. Yeah, this is the floor. We're getting somewhere, aren't we, Jim? Yeah. <laughs> it's I looking, I suppose looking in, better. In relative terms, <laughs> that is the case. We have an empty area here, which is going to be all the shelves. Also, lawnmower stuff like that. Got to find space for that. I mean, it's looking good, but there is a lot of stuff still outside, which needs to be sorted through. Um, maybe it just looks good because I've thrown everything outside. Probably. So, Jim, are you okay to just open this box up for me? Yeah. Do you think those shears might be a bit blunt? Do you think maybe I should just go and get a pair of actual scissors? <laughs> that was a lot of effort. Just have to do that and then... On every single bit? Yeah, we should probably throw these. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's put them to the tip. Cool. They come in boxes like this with all the measurements on as well and their information in case you need it. Simply, as Jim is showing, you can cut the box open. No problems there, Jim, right? No. Yeah. Once you get the right tools, whee! <laughs> all comes in there, in a nice sturdy box. And it should have everything you need inside and there'll be instructions as well. I have put one of these together before for my court, so hopefully I remember what to do. This one's just slightly bigger than the other one was. Jim doesn't know what he's doing yet, but I'm gonna teach him. When you open it, lay it flat. I should have told you this. I, I should have told you this. <laughs> We're obviously a disaster. Ta-da! Comes with the instructions all there. No drill, no tools really necessary, Jim, apart from your mere strength <laughs> and my mere strength. Perhaps a little hammer is just occasionally needed. Could do with like a plastic one really, or a one, but I'm happy with that. Okay, let me just re remember how to put the thing together. Re remember. Re remember, that's a thing. It's, it's just remember. Oh, okay. <laughs> is use a tape measure to kind of figure out how big I want each gap to be between the shelves so it all depends what you're going to be putting on the shelves basically I wanted it to make sure that I could fit a big box on the bottom and then some medium sized boxes on those and then maybe just other stuff on the top too that's what I'm going with for the first set now we have to do the same with another one the other side yeah. so that's one side so if 
start that up. Yeah. Could you go that side? And what we're going to have to make sure, Dan, is that we don't ruin it. So, if you could stand up on that side. Sorry, I'm against the wall. Right. And then lean it like this. Keep it together. And then pop that there. There we go. And then we recreate that again. Here we have it. One is in place. That was really easy to put together, wasn't it? Especially with two people. Surprisingly. I did one of them on my own, but it was a smaller version. So if you're doing a smaller one, it's not so bad to actually do it on your own. But this big one did need two people to keep it all together. Yeah, that looks awesome. And then we're going to have, we're going to build another one to go there, another one to go there. And some of these boxes we're going to try and put on there now as well. tidy garage yes I occasionally pop in just to admire my hard work and just go yeah this is a tidy garage <laughs> I'm just so impressed with that I just feel like now I've done this with these units it's never going to get messy again because it doesn't need to it's easy to sort through I can put things in boxes and it's just so helpful and I know where things are and I can sort through these boxes all this junk that still is in there um, that I didn't have time to go through. I can sort through that occasionally. I can just go, okay, today let's do this box. And I don't feel overwhelmed then because I just felt a little bit overwhelmed with everything that was in here. Just knowing that half of it was rubbish anyway and I just was like, like, just kept putting it off because it was just so much of a challenge to get to anything. And now I can see where everything is. <laughs> these, honestly, these units, I can't even, I'm not exaggerating if <laughs> they are brilliant. If you need some garage storage or storage for anywhere in your house, these are so helpful, so easy to put together, and so sturdy, and just genius things, genius. So thank you Rhino Racking for gifting me these units because they have just meant that my garage clear out has been so much more organized and ended so in so much more organization than I thought it would have. I'm not quite sure what I would have done without them, to be honest. Probably just piled the boxes on top of each other again. It would have been tidy-ish, but mm, yeah. Not to this extent. Then. Yeah, that's the end. I look a bit cleaner today <laughs> than I have done for the rest of the video, so apologies. It was a real video, I told you that at the beginning. <laughs> I couldn't make clearing out the garage glamorous. That was not going to happen. You're never going to get that from my videos, are you? Thank you so much for watching along with this video, and we'll see what I do next. I have no idea what planned videos I have. Oh, yes, I'll be tiling my kitchen at some point. Maybe in the next month or so. But before that, I'll do a video before that, obviously. But I obviously, obviously, sometimes I do have gaps between my uploads, so we shall see. Yeah, hoping to tell my kitchen at some point. So happy that I have like a little work area here where I can come and bring the tiles to cut them and things. And I just don't have to like make such a tip in the house while I'm doing it. I have a little workstation. Yes. <laughs> Thank you and see you next time.